The following took place a few days after I came back from Xuchang, where we had our former temple. After four intense days of packing our things and closing down the temple, I came back to Guangzhou to our new apartment and very soon had to receive my wife's family despite my weak health condition. Hare Krishna, please accept my humble obeisances, all to Shira Prabhupada. I arrived at home the day before yesterday and, uh, and all the boxes arrived yesterday so I can show you. So now our apartment is a bit in a mess. So I want to film a little bit today because it's a topic that is quite important for devotees in Krishna consciousness and it's in relation to how to deal with our family members who are not devotees. In the beginning, devotees, when they start Krishna consciousness, they tend to completely separate themselves from, from their family. Of course, to give up the association of those who are materialistic is the first business of a devotee, that's a fact. A Vaishnava should always avoid the association of ordinary people. Common people are very much materially attached, especially to women. Vaishnavas should also avoid the company of those who are not devotees of Lord Krishna. But the way we deal with our family members is different than karmis in general. So in the beginning, because the devotee's fate is not very strong, he's a bit on an unstable uh, platform. Therefore, he tends to simply uh, completely cut out all links with his family. And uh, that's because the views of his family could influence him and make him fall back. So he's actually protecting himself. But Shri Prabhupada said that a good fruit cannot come out of a bad seed. Uh, for example, our parents... Uh, why would they get a devotee's son or daughter? That means they have done some, something good in the past. They have done some service to the Lord, some pious activity, something that uh, allowed them to get the chance of getting a devotee child. Not only your mother, but also your father and all family members will be benefited by your dedication of life for Krishna's sake. Be rest assured, Krishna consciousness is so nice. So today my wife's family will be coming into a new apartment. We will try to demonstrate how we can have them receive some of the Lord's mercy. Generally, family members will not listen to any philosophy. Uh, mainly because they are very familiar with us. Uh, why would the parent listen to the child or why would the elder brother or sisters listen about uh, the truth of life and not only this it is not everyone who's intellectually inclined to understand the fundamental principle of this world but for general people it's prashadam uh, letting them you know taste the remnants of the lord hear the maha mantra see the pictures of lord krishna smell the incense all these things so we will try to have all these set up before they come We'll, cook a, we'll try to cook a nice feast for them and try to give them as much mercy as possible. Mm. Mm. I <laughs> Put the garbage near them because she threw in the kitchen, my grandmother. <clears throat> so now they're all happy to see uh, our son, Krishna Sudam. And uh, they're eating, you know, prashadam, fruits that we've offered and we'll cook later on. We've offered some incense. As you can see, we put all the pictures. We didn't have much time to arrange nicely, but it's having effect. They're seeing the form of Lord Krishna. They're smelling the incense offered to the Lord, eating the fruits. They're attached to our son, who's a devotee for sure being born in a devotee family and uh, they all ate prashadam 
So that is mission successful. One should offer prashad to the demigods, the saintly persons, one's forefathers, the people in general, one's family members, one's relatives, and one's friends, seeing them all as devotees of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Of course, when we receive uh, our family members that are not devotees, there's a lot that we have to tolerate. They're not used with uh, our way of doing things. Uh, you know, just like where to wash the bowls separately from the, off uh, the, the kitchen. But we need to remember that they are conditioned souls and they, they have no other choice but to behave by the way that which they have been conditioned. So it is not actually their fault, they're just forced to do so. The Supreme Personality of God had said, one should neither praise nor criticize the conditioned nature and activities of other persons. Rather, one should see this world as simply the combination of material nature and the enjoying souls, all based on the one absolute truth. What Prabhupada really wanted us though is that we don't um, jeopardize our principle, we don't compromise. When they come here they have to be following the four regulative principles. There's no meat eating, no intoxication, no illicit sex and no gambling. That's the way. One time there's a devotee who said, can I live at my friend's house? And Prabhupada said, yeah, no problem, as long as he follows the four principles. So we cannot compromise the philosophy nor our way of life. So when it comes to speaking philosophy maybe with them, then we have to uh, still uh, show them that we believe in God and that our life is centered around God. Uh, of course, when they speak some mundane thing, we can simply say yes, yes, you know. An intelligent man in human society should make his own program of activities very simple. If there are suggestions from his friends, children, parents, brothers, or anyone else, he should externally agree saying, yes, that is all right. But internally, he should be determined not to create a cumbersome life in which the purpose of life will not be fulfilled. The following took place some two months later after my wife's family visit. I felt very sick and became quite weak. The footages that followed took place when I finally stopped the six months treatment of taking antibiotics for curing my tuberculosis that I had. Hare Krishna, so we got some cantaloupe honey melon that we offered to the Lord and we're gonna go distribute them. Okay, very serious. Joyo, joyo, mado. 
So we gave it to the workers in the garden. Here is a nice, beautiful garden where we live. So there's a lot of those uh, workers that are uh, taking care of the trees, plants, and grass, and also. It was my wife's idea to distribute prasadam to them. Oh,